Hi, this is John the Rosenhead, the Jerusalem Psychotherapist. This week's Torah Psychology Post, of the Kudri, and the War in Israel, is titled Thoughts Do Matter. And in this week's parasha, we continue to read about the, 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 the clothes of the Kayak Godot. And the Ramban, in a general discussion about the significance of the Big Day Kuhuna, the, the clothes of the Kayak Godot, in particular, he writes that these are clothes that were, were placing the Kayak Godot in a position or a status of, of royalty. The clothes had a special quality. They were the, the fabric, the colors, the intricacy, the process that went into creating the clothes and the unique quality of them were basically were equivalent to the clothes of the king, to the clothes of, of royalty. And this is a special elevated quality of the clothes which represents the special elevated status of the Kayan Godel. But more so, the Ramban explains that it's not just that these clothes were an external indication of a function or a, of a, of a position of the Kayan Godel, but also it is a, or more, more than that, it is an indication of the internal quality of the Kayan Godel, that they are constant, these clothes are a constant reminder of their role and duty in terms of being connected to Kodesh Baruch Hu, being a representative of the Jewish people, of being involved in the service of the Mishkan or in the Beis Abingdosh. So therefore, these clothes are showing that the, the Kohen Gadol, as a, had, as a person, had a special quality because they always have to be connected to and engaged in their role or constantly engaged and connected with their, with their, with their position of being a representative and being in constant, a constant relationship, in a sense, with the Kodesh Baruch Hu. and we see this more in a more in a more prominent way with the with the sits, in particular with the sits, which was the band of the Kain Gadol war on his forehead, and on it was written Kadosh La Hashem. And the, the Ibn Ezra explains what well, is the significance of the sits being placed on the forehead on the uh, on the forehead of the Kain Gadol. The Ibn Ezra explains that this is the area. Of the of the of the human experience, this is the area of the prefrontal cortex, which basically is the is the seat for human experience of sensory experiences of a person's imagination, thoughts, judgment, and of processing the emotional world and processing the emotional experience of a human being. This is the area that the Kohen places that sits, and this is the way. This is the area that a person really channels his thoughts in the sense of of guiding his thoughts for human experience and gives the full and comprehen comprehensive extent of human experience and how thoughts can we can influence our thoughts or how thoughts influence the human experience. So if a Kohen Gadol has a sit on his head, it's a constant reminder to direct his thoughts towards a Kodesh Baruch to direct his thoughts towards a special duty that he has, the role that he has, that he's constantly connected with the Kodesh Baruch Hu. And the way that we see that thoughts really do matter is because the Kayan Gadol, the reason why he has the tzitz, and when he's wearing the tzitz, and he's directing his thoughts toward the, towards the Kodesh Baruch Hu, this is what ensures that the Kabbalahs, which are offered, are able to be mechaper, they're able to atone for the owners. So it's through the Kayan Gadol wearing the tzitz, and having his thoughts directed in the right way, that ensures that the carbon is given in the appropriate way to ensure that atonement is achieved. And we see that, therefore, thoughts really do matter. It changes the reality. The thoughts of the Kohen Gadol is what ensures that this atonement happens on behalf of the owner, which changes, therefore, the spiritual reality for this person. And therefore, we see the power of thoughts, that the thoughts of the Kohen Gadol really do matter. And we see this, obviously, through the cognitive behavior therapy model, which we've explained a number of times, of the thoughts, behavior, and feelings of the CBT triangle, of how each element influences and is influenced by the other. That if we make a ch if we make a change in one area, it will lead to a knock-on effect of change throughout the system. And in particular, C CBT often focuses or chooses thoughts as being the starting point because of its effectiveness and the power of of thoughts. This is often seen as being the main contribution of CBT of how thoughts can be can change or that the thoughts are able to influence a person's emotional emotional experience and change the way that they think change the way that they feel change the way that they act in their life by expanding and learning how to be more flexible in a person's thinking and by quietening down the the dominant negative or automatic thoughts and expanding this to include or to connect 
with other more adaptive and effective thoughts. So therefore the sits of the Kadosh La Hashem that the Kohen Gadol has on his head is a constant reminder to connect with the dominant thought, of, of, to connect with this adaptive and important necessary thought of connection with the Kodesh Baruch Hu, a relationship with the Kodesh Baruch Hu, and understanding his significant role of holiness and being uh, the representative of Bnei Yisrael. And therefore we too need to try to place a sits, whether it's a f- something physical or whether it's a constant reminder to direct our thoughts in a more adaptive way. What is the Kadosh La Hashem for the individual, for us on a day-to-day basis? How do we direct our thoughts in a more adaptive and more effective way? And this is the message that we can take out from the, from the big day, the, the, the clothes of the Kayan Godam in general, like the Ramban says, but also the sits in particular, how to use our power of thought, the prefrontal cortex, to affect and influence the way that we think, and therefore influencing the way that we feel and act. And therefore also, we could say with the, the war in Israel now, what are the clothes, what are the garments, what is the uniform in this war? It's the uniform of the soldiers. They have, obviously, a soldier wears the uniform, and this demarks them, shows their rank, shows their unit, shows their position and their function as a soldier fighting in the war. But moreover, more than this, it is a representation of their, of how they are the, a soldier for, for Israel, for the state of Israel, and a soldier for Am Yisrael. They are a representative fighting for us and fighting for what they believe in, not just, an exter- not, not just as an external function or role as a soldier, but an internal belief and connection with the love and devotion to Am Yisrael, the love and devotion to Eretz Yisrael. It's a commitment and, a, and, a, and, a, and a, a, an internal devotion that it leads them on, in a sense, to fulfill their function as a soldier for Israel. And this is what they're tapping into, and this is what hopefully will be the ultimate victory by not just the soldiers, but the people of Israel, the whole of Israel, the whole of, of Am Yisrael, directing their thoughts to an appreciation and a connection to the devotion for, for Eretz Yisrael, for Am Yisrael, with a, a connection with the Kaddish Baruch Hu. This will change our thoughts, and ultimately this will be a, an effective and adaptive change of our thoughts, channeling it, channeling it in the right way to change the way that we feel, to change the way that we behave, and this therefore we will see the more comprehensive and ultimate victory of Am Yisrael through hopefully changing, we can say, focus and start with changing our thoughts, which will lead to an ultimate victory. I wish you a good Shabbos and keep well.